We've had a busy seven, eight years together. Some tough times, but a lot of good times, Gemma. Uh, moving home twice, raising a puppy in Cali, raising two beautiful children in Finlay and Fern. I love you in so many ways and for so many reasons. Not that you've just given me the most perfect family, but you know me better than I know myself. You always have a way of bringing the best out in me, making me smile and laugh every day. I'm so proud of the fantastic mother that you are. I, lo I love you to the moon back. I can't wait to start the beginning of our married life together. I feel the luckiest man in the world. Marriage is not only about sharing love, but also exchanging responsibilities. It is my promise to you to be a dedicated father, husband, and best friend from now until always. I love you. Can I ask everyone to please be upstanding for my beautiful new wife, to Gemma. The most beautiful, complex, unpredictable, powerful, overwhelming and sometimes the most painful of emotions that we can experience as humans. Regardless of the stories, advice or warnings that we hear from others, it is only through our own experience of and exposure to love when we feel it ourselves that we come to appreciate its power. That we come to appreciate how incredibly different our lives can be with or without it. It's a power that tests us time and again as life goes on as we learn to love ourselves, our families, our friends, our kids and our partners. Importantly though, through our exposure to love, big or small, we learn in time that love is very much a choice. It's a choice that we face every day as we wake up and engage with the world around us, but the bravest of choices when we're faced with the commitment to someone else. Why brave? Because loving the person we hold closest takes work. It takes patience, it takes commitment, it takes forgiveness, it takes compromise, it takes respect and it takes having a long hard look at ourselves in order to develop compassion and empathy for someone else. It takes a lot of the values and behaviours that are so badly needed in the world right now and often it can be much easier to turn the other way. However, to resist love is to reject life itself because to love is our primary human function. It is our duty to love in whatever way we can and to move boldly and recklessly into that love, enlightening the world around us with its awe and wonder. And we all know that the world is in urgent need of that right now. And yes, love can be challenging, and sometimes it may even vanish for periods in our life, but you find in time that this too is a gift from which you are reborn time and again. With this, in the words of the writer and musician Nick Cave, as you both embark on the bravest of journeys, the commitment to one another, I have only one piece of advice, and that is to love the world as waiting. Well.